Oh, hello, all you lovely viewers out there. It is me, Foxy. And don't forget me, Nightmare Foxy. And today, we're going to be making episode two of our wilderness survival tips with Foxy Nightmare Foxy. That's right. You all love the last one. We had the one person that liked the video did. And today, we're going to make episode two. So you're probably wondering to yourself, Foxy, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm so glad you asked, because today we're going to take a look at our local wildlife. Isn't that right, bro? Yeah, just so. Okay, then. So, you want me to do the first animal? No, you go ahead, bro. You got this. Okay. Lovely viewers, follow me. Good luck, bro. All right. Where's our first animal of the day going to be? Hmm. Huh. Lovely viewers, do you see an animal? You do see an animal! Okay, we got to sneak. We gotta get to a good hiding place and look. Come on, follow me. Okay, we should be far out enough to see our first animal of the day. The wild rabbit. As you can see, the rabbit doesn't seem to care that we're less than 30 feet from it. That's because rabbits are real dumbasses. Trust me, you could get as close to these things as you want and they wouldn't even care. Now you're probably wondering, Foxy, what is the use of looking at this stupid ass rabbit if there's no use to it? Well, you're wrong, there is a use to it. These things are used as food in an emergency situation. Now to catch a rabbit, you need to know how to make traps and to act like Elmer Fudd, but that's for a different video. We're here to observe today. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, it appears the rabbit has spotted us. No need to worry. These things aren't aggressive at- Oh, sheep nuggets, run! One chase later. I wonder how my bro is doing. <laughs> oh, hi bro. Uh, did, you, did you find an animal? Yeah, I found a rabbit. A rabbit? Are you insane? Those things are damn dangerous and deadly! I know, but I thought I was observing from a safe distance. Dude, rabbits have strong ears, man. I am aware of that, but I had to show the viewers what rabbits were. I'm pretty sure every viewer out there knows what rabbits are. Just get back on the hedge. Okay. I must observe from the safety of the hedge while my bro, my trusty bro, goes out to find the next animal. Take it from here. Okay, fine, sis. Uh, okay, where's a good animal I can film? Hey, do you have any nuts? Huh? I said, do you have any nuts? I want nuts. I like nuts. Shut up, squirrel. I'm trying to find a good animal to film. Uh, wait a minute, can I film you? What's a film? Is it, is it a type of nut? I like nuts. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Uh, sure, whatever. Just, um, just pretend that this is a nature documentary or something. <laughs> Okay, I got a good place to observe the majestic squirrel. And as you can see, oh, oh, the camera's not picking it up. Mind zooming in a little? Yeah, sure, whatever. Is this good nightmare, Foxy? Yes, that's perfect. Okay, so as you can see, the majestic squirrel is looking down at us with wide eyes. That's because it loves nuts. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, now it's not because the camera can't pick it up again. Well, anyway, that's pretty much all there is to know about squirrels. They love nuts. Now, not the kind of nuts that dangles in between a man's legs, but the nuts that grow on the trees. Now, squirrels are known to be highly territorial when someone tries to take their nuts, so watch this. You see, squirrels alone have very little nutritional value since they're so skinny and there's barely any meat on them. But the nuts that they place around their trees are full of good proteins that you'll need for survival out here. So, I'm just gonna take one of these, and that'll be that, and hey! What? <laughs> Give me back my nuts! <laughs> uh, uh run! After yet another chase. Hmm, I wonder where my bro went. <laughs> okay, I'm back, and I got, I got us some food. Oh, what'd you get? I, I got a walnut. Well, that's not a whole lot of food. Uh, shut up, I risked my life. I almost got killed by a squirrel for this. Uh, I'm just set the nut here. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just sit here in the hedge. All right, your turn, bro, your turn. Okie dokie then, away I go. Note to self, viewers, never piss off a squirrel. All right, time to find the next animal for this episode. 
be very, very still. You see that thing over there on the ground? That's a yogi bear. They're one of the most powerful predators in this part of the region. Be very, very quiet. And let's go this way. Be very quiet. Hopefully, if we remain quiet enough, it won't see us. Wah, oof! Oi, Baboo, you got the picnic basket? Oh no, it spotted us! You got the picnic basket, Baboo! <laughs> this is the worst kind of situation you could be in with a yogi bear. It's calling you Baboo! Come on, Baboo, I know you got the picnic basket! Oh, I never explained to you what a yogi bear does, does it? Well, if it starts calling you Baboo, you have to give it a picnic basket, or it'll maul you to death when it gets close enough. Oh, Baboo, where's your picnic basket? Where is it, Baboo? The temper in his voice is getting greater. We, we gotta do something, we gotta do something. I have an idea. Where's that damned picnic basket, Baboo? Um, it's, uh, it's right behind you. <gasps> really, Baboo? Yeah, just keep looking. It might take you a little bit. Run. <laughs> I don't see it, Baboo! I could have sworn that you might be... <gasps> Boo Boo! Meanwhile, back at the base... Sitting in the hedge, this song makes no sense. <laughs> Bro, I'm back. Oh, well, did you find anything? Yeah, I, I came across a yogi bear. Oh, dude, I'm glad you made it out of there alive. <laughs> Thank you. Now, there should be one more animal that we need to encounter. Why is that? The legendary T-Rex of the Valley. Dude, that's just a story. Shut up. Come on, we're gonna go look for it. Hop on me back. Okay. Uh, so why exactly are we going off to find a creature that doesn't exist? It exists, brother. Okay? It's just... It's just hard to find, that's all. In fact, I think I see it over there. Really? Yeah, of course. Two hours later... Uh, gosh darn you, bro. I told you we wouldn't find it. I could have sworn it was out here. Uh, oh well. Let's take a break here on this hill and then we'll go home. Okay? Okay. Roar! What was that? Over there! Roar! Roar! Holy Pingas, dude! It exists! I, I, I can't believe it exists! I know, I told you! Dude, can it see us? That's impossible! Right? Maybe it smells us. Just keep absolutely still, okay? Its vision is based on movement. That only works in movies. Roar! Oh, well, shit. Dude, run! Run away! Come on, we need to make it back to the base. I don't think we can outrun a T Rex. Wait, I know what to do in this situation. Wait, you do? Yeah, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Wait, what? Uh, oh, uh, I'm a good neighbor, and I'm here to help. Help us, Mr. State Fun Bear! We're being chased by a T-Rex! Wait, say what now? Roar! Don't worry, you guys! I'll take care of this! Thank you, Mr. State Fun Bear! Dude, let's run! Okay! Ah! Quick, let's take place in this let's take place on top of this old abandoned settlement and watch the fight. Who do you think is gonna win? I don't know, let's just watch. <laughs> hey! You there! Mr. T-Rex! Who am I? I'm the State Farm Bear, and I suggest you leave my there agents alone. Or what? Or, or I'll fight you, close to cause. All right then, bring it. Da da da, da da da, done, done, da da da, done, 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 done. Fight! Oh no! Oh no! Get off of me! 
<laughs> Screw this! Like a grenade bear straight from his there at my office! <laughs> Good riddance. Now as for you too. Dude, it didn't work. I am fully aware that it didn't work. Um, we're, we're gonna have to continue this next time, folks, so... Get over here! Tune in next time! Ah!